It's a crazy world and it all feels wrong. So I'm gonna stay home and sing this song. And everybody out there, yes, including you, is invited to get excited for your favorite dude. Fun is what we'll have. We'll play some games and share a laugh. Cause after all is said and done, when the walls fall, we have won. If you wanna share the love, better call ball. For us all, better go home. Oh, yes, that's me. We're not gonna play some games and feel free. Better go home. Oh, better go home. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Follow me. Better go home. Oh, then you'll see. Gonna play some games and feel free. Best go home. We don't start. We don't. Oh, oh, oh. Hello everybody, welcome to Better Call Paul. I'm Paul and you're not. This is my show. I am here with my dear friend, Edge KR2099. What's happening, buddy? I'm doing good, Paul. How are you? I'm and good. how's chat doing today? I'm <laughs> chat, how you doing? Let us know, okay? Not you know, don't overshare, but just generally. Uh, I'm doing great, <laughs> man. I got I don't know where he is right now. There he is. My ex dropped off her Sphinx. His name is Basil. Love this little guy, dude. But, like, he's still getting used to me again. You know, he used to live here, and I watched him for, like, a year and a half without her here. And uh, mm -hmm. I was petting him, and he was, like, purring, and everything was great. Out of nowhere, he just bites me. He bites my hand, <laughs> and he hisses. He just goes, Kish! and then runs away. I'm like, what is wrong? Why? You know, cats are weird, dude. Oh, I bet. All right, let's get... I bet they're weird. The, they're, I mean, and sphinxes are even weirder. But let's, <laughs> let's see if there's any challenges and stuff. I'm sure there are. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go, dude. Do you want to do competitive? I guess that's our new paradigm, yeah? Well, I mean, maybe I kind of like your strategy, like last time. Just do a little bit... Ca you know, let's do like one or two matches casual just to warm up, and warm then up. we uh, get, it, get into competitive. Right. That sounds like a plan, dude. You know, Paul, I was just going to uh, tell you about uh, when I'm going to be streaming Ghosts and Goblins. That will be probably the the first week of June, because the game doesn't come out until Memorial Day weekend, and then I'm going to be at a, a wedding, which uh, my brother is uh, actually uh, getting married, so I will be streaming Ghosts and Goblins on the first week of June, just letting you know, because so, I know how much you're really looking forward to that game. I'm very much looking forward to it, man. That's old school. What's up, Duchess? Poopy. I, hey, you know, I, I wanted to double check because for a second I thought it was Duchess Poppy, like the flower, but no, it is in fact Duchess Poopy. What's happening? How are you? She uh, said, that's women in a nutshell, like cats. <laughs> in a minute, uh, <laughs> when I get a chance, I'm going to go grab this sphinx here. You guys need to see Basil is, uh, you know, I was never a cat person. I love dogs, but he's not like a normal cat. I mean, first of all, he's weird looking, right? But second of all, he acts like a dog in a lot of ways. It's, it's very interesting, and he's um, <laughs> he's a uh, predator, dude. Like he's a killer. Oh damn! He's killed. You know, well, while, while he was living here, he killed two birds, like three lizards. Uh, you know, he's always on the hunt. Doesn't that make you question? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean that. Because it would with me. That's his instincts. <laughs> like, but then again, is I guess his instincts came into play last night when I was petting him. It's his first night here, right? And I'm like, hey, and he seemed to remember me, and he was like, you know, came up to me, and I petted him for like a good, like, eight minutes or something, right? And he's just happy as can be. Out of nowhere, he bites my hand, hisses at me, oh. and runs away. Like, what? <laughs> like, whoa, whoa. but that's, you know, that's how they are. Dude. They're strange. Like, I'll be looking for him places, and then he'll just be standing in the weirdest <sighs> spot in my house, you know? Damn. Oh. I mean, I'd be scared, man. I mean, I'm afraid that that cat might probably kill you in your sleep. I would, I mean, not, you know, I'm way bigger than him. Let's put it that way. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but one thing I do have to be afraid of is uh, he's a scared. He has nine lives? He, he wants to go outside. He's probably got a few left. But he always wants to go outside, right? And hunt. And uh. even, like... Years ago, when my ex-girlfriend brought him for the first time, he escaped, and I had to go hunt him down in the neighborhood and everything. I found him, right? But uh -huh. if he gets a shot at it, he will run, you know, out in the yard, like, make a beeline and try to escape. And, dude, you know what I discovered? Whoa, what? dude! That was awesome! 
What I what just, the, watch, how did you get this. that goal? Watch. Look. Oh, I see. You touched it last. That's, that's great. why. That's great. That's teamwork right there. So, anyway, so, you know what I discovered, dude? This is how smart this cat is. is. He can open doors. You gotta be kidding me! Nope. And I, so I couldn't figure out how he was doing it, right? And, uh -huh. uh, and then one day I woke up in the middle of the night and I had my camera, my phone, you know, camera. And I looked uh -huh. up and I took a picture of him. You know what he does? He goes from above oh, the door. Shit. Son of a bitch. He goes from above the door and then pushes down on the knob and opens the door. Damn! So, from then on, now I'm paranoid. Duchess, your cat loves Cheez-Its. I bet. I love Cheez-Its. Hell yeah. Cat's got good taste. What's that cat's name? I gotta show you the Sphinx. I wanna, I wanna get one. Before I was dogs only. Now I'm dogs and stinks. My god, man. I mean, was he like Harry Houdini in his past life? Oh yeah. Dude, he's a sneaky, <laughs> he's very smart, you know? I mean, he figured out how to open that door. That's intelligent, dude. You know, he figured out to put, like, use physics and put his uh, weight on top of the doorknob, and that's how he was able to do it. Damn. Dude, I made it such a great video, I should post it, um, because I had a video of him attacking her, uh, dog, her parent's dog, <laughs> and, and I set it to the music of, move, bitch, get out the way, <laughs> get out the way, get out the way, right? It sounds like a TikTok video. Oh, man. I, I gotta post it on it. That one might take off, dude. <laughs> Shit. Uh, and then after, and then I edited it on some, uh, sunglasses and, uh, a joint, a joint in his mouth. Oh no! Yeah, why? It, it it makes it. You'll see. It, it's a work of art. You know, it's complete. Why a joint oh, in no. the mouth of a cat? Duchess, I just tried to allow. I don't know why it's trying to block it. cuss words. I gotta fix that. But I just accidentally deleted what you said. All I saw was, I have a couple of assholes. Oh, there it is. Wait, <laughs> Louie and Louie wants to eat anything I have. It doesn't matter. But cheese its are his favorite. All right, that makes more sense than just the first part that I read. Because, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you, oh, have, if you have a couple of assholes, you should go see a surgeon. <laughs> oh, man, that's messed up. It's going to be one of those shows, Edge. <laughs> Inappropriate time. Uh, oh, yeah. But I bet they love you. I mean, you know, cats can be total jerks. And you have two of them, so, I don't, you know, you got to balance them out, I'd say. This cat's a sweet cat, mostly. Until <sighs> he just decides to, you know, bite me and uh, hiss at me. I actually like cats, but I'm allergic to them, so that's uh, pretty uh, freaking ironic right there. And I also like dogs, too, but I like more cats than dogs. No, same. I, I love dogs. I'm allergic to cats, too, but you know what? These sphinx aren't as bad. I do get a little reaction, but... Oh, sh she has no doubt that they will eat her face if she dies. Uh, Nor do well, I. Uh, just make sure you weren't time. eating Cheez-Its, like, right before you die, because <laughs> th then it's a <laughs> foregone conclusion, you know, if you have any of that Cheez-It dust on your face. Oh, come on. Dude, really? You scored on our, you know, on our goal? Oh, was I? Oh, shit. I got yeah. confused. I got confused. Just pretend like it didn't happen, okay? Don't pretend it didn't happen. Didn't it happen, it. Like didn't happen, dude. We'll edit that out. <laughs> it I mean, didn't happen. I mean, there's video clear as day saying no. that you're right. You no. know, that you shouldn't have our own goal. You can't trust your own eyes, my friend. Uh, trust my own eyes. I trust the video footage more or than my footage. own eyes. I'm gonna delete that, so it doesn't matter. Look, <laughs> let's move on. All right. So, yeah. What else is new? Besides oh, uh, trying, to, trying to score in the wrong goal. But what else is new? You seen anything cool lately? Uh, well, let's see what I've seen. Um, let's see, maybe one or two romantic comedies, and then there is uh, Skyfall, which I saw earlier today. And um, did you see Tenet? Hmm. No, actually, I actually haven't seen Tenet. I watched the first like maybe 
30 minutes. It's interesting. Uh -huh. I, I just, I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't have time for this. It wasn't interesting enough for me to like put aside my plans. But Agreed. In movie news, they they finished shooting uh, Sonic 2, which I know you're a huge Sonic fan. Yes, I am. You're such a big Sonic fan that you know I sent you like some article and they showed Tails and Knuckles, right? You know, on the set, mm -hmm. not the yep. C, not the CG ones, and you're like. I thought you'd be like thrilled. You're like Knuckles is too tall. Yeah, I'm I like, just thought well, that he should be the exact same I'm same uh, like height as Sonic. Right, but you know, it's one of these. I mean, look, if that's the least they change it, then we're in good hands. The first one was good. You know, they usually I agree. they do things for a reason. Sometimes it it doesn't the height doesn't read well in a in a film setting, and even though it does in the game, or you know what I'm saying, like. Mm -hmm. Especially that crew after what they did with Sonic's original design, which was a tragedy. A, a tragedy? Is that a word? <laughs> More like tragedy. Wow, I just made up a new word. That's the new word. Tragedy. That is a tragedy and a travesty combined is a tragedy. Tragedy. Yeah. But anyway, that, that original, uh, I think we should do another casual one to warm up. Good idea. They, like, totally spanked us. They did. That original Sonic was, um, you know, you recommended it, and I only watched it a couple months ago, but I really, really dug it, dude. But that first design for Sonic was the stuff of nightmares. Do you want to play them Agreed. again? Let's play it. Let's do it. Yeah, why not? Let's get uh, our ass yeah, kicked, uh, yeah. you know, one more time. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, I won't score on, on our side anymore, okay? <laughs> okay. Duchess, I, Ruby, I, I, wait, I have around. a question. Duchess, what do you play? What games do you play? I was just going to say that I have to still get around to the Bad Batch that you and Duchess recommend me to watch. Oh, she did as well? See, now you have to watch it. Yep. Yes. You, you really, I know. You really do. Oh, shit. A new one came out yesterday. I didn't watch it yet. I got to watch that tonight. And you need to catch up, man. Don't, don't make it like, you know, you're already, we're three in. She just said, uh -huh. watch it too. So we're already three in, and you don't want to be, like, behind on it, you know? That's the fun. You never get this back is when they, ha you know, Disney or Netflix is airing a series or HBO, and it's, like, the first mm -hmm. time they uh, air it, and and everyone gets to talk about it every week and speculate. And I, that's half of the fun for me is, like, like with Captain America, was, like, watching an episode that going online and seeing people's theories. You know what I'm saying? Like, it only happens right. like the debut uh, premiere time. So, you better watch it. Oh, I'll, I'll watch or, it. Or the Duchess's cats are going to eat your face. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully I just don't uh, have Cheez-Its in my mouth De uh, when they do. <laughs> There's a bunch of flavors of Cheez-Its, by the way. I'm a big fan. I like white cheddar. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Man. Well, we're, we're, we're t they tied it up, so don't worry. We're all right. We're all right. All right. Yeah, white cheddar's bomb. I also like uh, cheddar and Jack. Duchess likes the burnt one. Those are good, too. Uh, I think they've made those because people like... Uh, seriously, I think I heard this. People wrote to them or, you know, made a petition or something because you used to get the burnt ones in a regular package. Like, you know, like... Mm -hmm. It was pretty rare, but you'd get some that got burnt and however they cook it and... Uh, those were especially good, and so then they actually made a whole pack that's all burnt ones. Damn. That's Damn. interesting. Damn. Speaking of cheese it, I think if we're oh, man. if we're gonna win, we're gonna have to cheese it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at that, Ed. I, I thought it was cheesy. Oh my god, he's attacking me. No. It was cheesy. I thought it was cheesy. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, Jesus, man. Gross. This <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. So, uh, yeah, so I got to go get this cat. Go. You got to see it. Some of my past uh, videos, like I back when he used to live here with me uh, like a, a year ago, he was in quite a few of them. Bam. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, was so actually I've been also been watching the Nevers that show. That's that's getting really good right now. 
It took a while, but it's getting really good now. And is that what is on that HBO. on HBO? Yeah, I gotta cancel yep. that. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I watched another Flash though. I think we talked about it. That was I'm really liking that show. I'm always way behind oh. on this stuff. Like Game of Thrones, like. I watched all of it except for the last season, so like when people were complaining, to me it was just fine, you know? It lives in a place mm -hmm. where every season was great, because I never finished it. Mm -hmm. But actually it's good though that you're getting into it right now, because they're going to be going into the uh, third, uh, no not third, um, their uh, spin-off, which will take place next year, and it's called The House of Dragons. That's right. And that should be set... And that sets place though a few hundred years from the actual, you know, the series of Game of Thrones. Before or after? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, before. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's so. Really, I mean, that's you're really interesting. You'll be right on time, so you won't be lost. No, totally. I I'm excited for. Uh, well, I'm uh, actually uh, excited mixed with worried for Amazon's, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings series. Which, oh yeah. Which it's not really Lord of the Rings, you know, because that's not the story it is. I mean, everything takes place way before that. And I don't know. I don't know. They could they could screw it up. It's a it's a very you know because the films are so beloved and so are the books, you know. So we'll. well Damn, homie. Uh, all right, it's all right. Just tying it up. But again, I'll ask you, Miss Poopy, mm -hmm. uh, what games do you play? Duchess. <laughs> Duchess actually said gross, and I realized that coming from the uh, person who's got poopy in their name. Ah. Uh, Where's that other hey, don't uh, uh, follower of mine? Remember? I eat my own poop. Remember that one? Oh, man. <laughs> that guy. That's gross. Yeah, but, hey, don't. That's gross. Hey, leave, leave Duchess alone with, right. with, with her poopy. Just call her Duchess. Okay, Duchess. I still want to know what games you play. That's what I want to know. Wait. Oh, you're saying gross about the cheese puns. Got it. Ah, dude, they, they you messed me up. Close. All right, all right, all right. Well, what games do you play? I'm super, super curious. Ah! Look at this, bro. Look what's happening. Oh, my God. Chase! Chase! Cousin Chase in the house. What's up, cousin? Say hi to Duchess. Dude, you know who's back, Chase? Basil. The Sphinx. Destiny, Fallout, Skyrim, Batman. Excellent. Yeah, I, I love... Um, Destiny 1 I was super hooked on. Then Destiny 2, it, I tried and it didn't get its hooks in me. Skyrim I've bought, I don't know, four times for different platforms and played it for hundreds of hours. I just got destroyed, man. Batman is cool. I just ordered the, uh, damn it, oh, I ordered the, the graphic man. graphic novel for the Fortnite Batman crossover because you get codes in it for like these special Batman skins, Harley Quinn, all kinds of stuff like that. And Fallout, I've played, but it never got its hooks in me either. But you know what did was, um, uh, what's it called? Outer Worlds. It's by the same people, group of people who made Fallout, um, New Vegas, so the writing's incredible, it's a whole new world, it's really, really good. Chase says, uh, taking a final, just want to stop by, and then we got Sweet Vulture here, nothing like timing, very true. Sweet Hi, Vulture! Kid. Sweet Vulture, how you doing tonight? Let's see, I got some new wheels, I always equip them. So wait a minute. Do we want to uh, rematch again? Get our asses kicked again? <laughs> I no, mean, that was a lot closer. Let's do it. Okay. Them beating us like eight to one. I mean, now it's like three to two. I mean, yeah, it's a lot closer this time around. Exactly. We're narrowing the the gap now. Gotta play more defense. And a little tad more offense. Sweet, yeah. Sweet Vulture, I don't know if you can see on my car. Look at my um, my topper. Look who it is. 
somebody who's been in the news a lot lately. <laughs> yeah, we got Edge here as well. Sweet Vulture was wondering if that's you. Oh yeah, that's me. In the Definitely flesh. Sweet Vulture, what's up? Well, digitally, or yeah, you I mean, know, virtually. It's, it's, an AI, <laughs> it's an AI that's been programmed with all of uh, Edge's traits. We don't need yeah. him anymore. Yeah, the, the, sp <laughs> the Sphinx is back, Chase. <laughs> Basil's back in the house. My ex is, like, moving, and she asked if I could watch him for a week. So he's out of the way. And I was I told uh, Edge earlier, dude, so, you know, you know the cat pretty well from the show when I used to have him. But uh, last night was his first night here, and I was petting him, and he was purring just like old times. He just loved me. And then out of nowhere, he bit my hand, and then... Uh, you know, and, uh, what do you call it, hissed at me and then ran away. I'm like, what? What, what just happened? Oh, yeah, that's right. You're, you're a cat. That's what cats do. At least she dropped him off and his nails are nice. But last time it was like having Freddy Krueger over. <laughs> I'll see you in your nightmares! Ah, One, ah, two, ah. Basil's coming for you. Three, four, he can open the doors. <laughs> he can. Oh, shit! Damn it! Oh, man! <laughs> oh, Chase has a post, I mean, uh, a clip with Basil in it. Yeah, dude, that'd be amazing. I gotta send, uh, Sweet Vulture, I gotta send you this video I made of, uh, Basil. Does anyone know, on TikTok, can you have, like, music that's copyrighted? Because I use a famous song in my clip. Oh, I don't have TikTok. I wish I could help you out on that. Yeah, I know. I, I know you, you don't. I... You don't like it. Um, I wouldn't say I don't like it. I mean, I just uh, prefer, I like Instagram. I, uh, and, and that's mainly it. I just feel like it show my creativity in, um, on Instagram. But it's just that TikTok, uh, doesn't really do it for me. You hate it. I didn't say I hate it. Oh, yeah, you did. I did not say it. <laughs> I didn't say those words. <laughs> you hate TikTok. I'll be spreading those ups. And, and everybody on it. No, that is not true at all. I did not say that at all. I, I just, uh, it doesn't do it for me, that's all. No, it doesn't appeal to you, that's fine. I mean, right. I, I know people love it and they get, like, you know, sucked into a, a wormhole watching stuff on there, but I've never let myself do that, not once. I should, but I just, I'm just too obsessed with video <sighs> games. That's just how I want to spend all my time. Okay, okay. love you, sweet uh -huh. culture. I'm going to text you later. But it's actually kind of nice that uh, you still are, you know, like, civil with your, you know, with, with your ex that way. Some people, they're like, no, my ex is dead to me and all that shit, yeah, you know? No, totally. As in, like, they don't want to oh, deal on. with, you know, they don't want to deal with it. No, absolutely, dude. We're, we're really sip. We really are, you know? We're cool with each other, and that it is nice, you know? Part of the reason is, why did I mess that up? Part of the reason is just that, um, you know, I want, you know, we both wanted it to end that way. And so, like, at the very end, I took some time to just tell her all the great things about her and not the things that, uh, you know, I didn't like, to put it that way. So, and now, because of that we have that good relationship, I've got the Sphinx. She's not getting it back, oh. not getting it back this time. Oh, boy. Are you sure about that? Because I think that cat seems like she's going to put up a fight. Oh, man! That's true. <laughs> yeah, the cat already bit me, dude. She already probably <laughs> poisoned its mind against me. <laughs> Come on. I, you know, I had two goals that were just gimmies, and I screwed it up, you know? You say I screwed up on one, though. It was yeah. one gimme. Damn. It's getting there. Oh man, it's not getting there. Oh shit. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Alright, well, you see the countdown. Okay. You don't need me counting down. I, I understand <laughs> numbers. That's about the, ex <laughs> that's the extent of my number skill. Counting. Dude, I'm still desperate to find somebody to uh, 
play Monster Hunter with me. You know, uh -huh. I saw Shikao yesterday, and uh, he made a deal with me that if I play Pokemon Go again, he'd play Monster Hunter. So I downloaded it again, right? <coughs> and I'm actually excited about it, because I forgot. When Pokemon Go first came out, I had it on day one, and I got so addicted to it that in one month, I walked 130 miles, Edge, and I lost 15 pounds. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Because Pokemon Go makes you want to walk everywhere just to find damn Pokemons. Yeah, but I took it to a new level, dude. One time I walked into a wire, you know? Oh, shit. And it, like, <laughs> clotheslined me like I was in WWF. Nice. And then another time... Bam! Game winner! Another time... Uh, check this out. There are, like, the in Culver City here in uh, L.A., there's these giant stairs, right? You know, you, it's mm -hmm. people go there to work out. You know, you've seen stuff like that. Like, it's a mountain with all these stairs. We did it, bro. Oh, man. Damn. So it's a mountain with all these stairs, right? And uh, I had heard that there was a Sizer, which is a Pokemon. Like, I had heard that there was a nest up there, which means you can have a better chance of catching them, etc. So mm -hmm. I wasn't really thinking. I didn't eat that day. And I hadn't been drinking too much water. We get near the top. Hold on. We get near the top of the stairs. You want to ready up? Sure. Okay, so... I don't know if they want to face us now since they lost. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, so I get to the top of the stairs, right? And I all of a sudden, mm -hmm. dude, everything turns white. I had what's called a whiteout. It's not a blackout. It's a heat stroke mm -hmm. type thing. Um, I literally could not see anything. Everything was just white. I couldn't see my hands, nothing, right? And then I mm -hmm. sit down, and my friend says, are you okay? And I go, no, I can't see anything. Everything's white. It's like, should I call, you know, a paramedic or something? And I'm like, I don't know, man, because I really was pretty worried, you know? And, and he's like, I go, I don't know. And then a couple minutes later, he goes, are you serious right now? And I go, what? He goes, are you really playing again? Because as soon as my vision came back, I immediately <laughs> started again. Because I was like, okay, I'm going to live. I'm cool. That's how bad I was with that game. So addicted, but it was so... Oh, so good, dude. 15 pounds I lost. So I'm going to get back into it. It makes... Uh, I've never been able to exercise without video games. To get my mind off it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people can do uh, music, and that's enough. To, like, exercise with their tunes. Not me. I have to be, like, totally immersed in something. And it's almost like my body's exercising by itself. Right. Does that make sense? No, no, that totally makes sense, yes. I Al agree. Although I had success with, uh, for the Switch, Ring Fit Adventures was really cool. It's like an RPG. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, I haven't actually. All right. I actually remember when I was doing the Connect on the 360, like, I think ah. it was, like, called a Nike Plus or something, and I actually... Oh, shit. Fuck! Fake me out on that I one. Tried. That that actually made me, you know, get a little active. But when it comes to, uh, like, I think when I was a, I guess a teenager, like I didn't really think nothing of it. I just get on my bike, and if I need to go to a place, I just ride. And right. that's and there's a motivation right there in itself. Yeah, but see, just when, when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. I was a you know skinny kid, man. My metabolism. My family had an Italian restaurant. And I remember saying to my friend, right, uh, who worked there also, Jesus. I remember saying uh, to him, man, we should just eat eat a bunch and get, like, really fat. And he's like, yeah, dude, totally, right? But I never could because my metabolism, right? You think you're always going to be like that, but mm -hmm. not the case. But anyway, <laughs> and one time I, I actually gained so much weight I had to lose it. It was 80 pounds I lost. Damn. I know, I looked like fat Steven Seagal. <laughs> oh, shit. I had like a ponytail <laughs> at that time. Yeah, I'm not kidding. But anyway, this, uh, we, I'm uh, not We Fit. Okay, well, We Fit was like the precursor to this, uh, um, Ring Fit adventure. Shit. Uh -huh. Um, what it is, is it's, it's an RPG that you, that has you doing exercises, like a turn based RPG, right? So, you know, instead of pressing a button to do different moves, 
Um, <sighs> it'll have you doing sit-ups or the 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 ring itself, right? Is um, uh -huh. it's like one of those yoga tension rings. Have you ever seen those? Tension ring. Yeah, it's like a um, ring, and you could squeeze it in, and it's got tension. But anyway, that's what the accessory is for Ring Fit Adventure. So it's got you know, frickin' Nintendo always comes up with the cool shit. So it's got oh, yeah. sensors in it, and you put your um, your uh, Switch Joy Cons in it, so it can like vibrate, and it's got you know accelerometer and gyroscope. Anyway, the point is, you know, like basically you're running through an environment. And then you'll come across some enemies, and then you have to fight them by doing exercise. It's got a story, and you can buy upgrades, and you make milkshake uh, smoothies, you know, for, like, get your a attack or defense up. Is that, yeah, does that make sense? It's like an R RPG, but to work out. And I was really digging it at the beginning of the pandemic, and then, you know, when I stopped doing something, I'm either all or no nothing, you know? Like, right. I did it every day. And then I kind of like fell off, and I just never came back to it, even though it, it really was cool. So, in the back of my mind, to do that and uh, Pokemon Go, because you know, pretty soon it's going to be time to go outside and stuff. True. Yeah, no, you're you're right on that. And it, I mean, I think we're closely we're closer and closer almost each day getting there that everybody's going to be going outside. Yeah. And I, you know, I've been e eating like a, a maniac this whole time. Just, you know what I mean? Like anything I want, I eat always. I didn't go that far though. And then I eat more. <laughs> then I then more of whatever that is. So I've been putting myself on a lean meat diet. Have you? Oh yeah, like fish and uh, and grilled chicken, and yeah, occasionally I kind of slip up purposely to go to a Shake Shack. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, and, uh, but then, uh, most of the majority, I try to stay, stick with, like, chicken and fish most of the time. Yeah. Damn it! Why'd you have to say Shake Shack? Because now, uh, oh, now I want it. Oh, damn. And the thing is, uh... It's some good shit, man. There are, the only one is, like, over the hill from where I live, you know? So I'd have to order it from, like, you know... Grubhub or something, and then it starts getting mm -hmm. into uh, astronomical prices. But that's that place is so good, dude. I know. That's why I love. That's why I love about Shake Shack. We have this place here that's like obscene, bro. Okay, listen, it's called Fat South. B obscene. B B uh, obscene. obscene. Wait, what? Fat South. Aggressive. B B <laughs> aggressive. B E A G G R E S S I V E. Anyway, <laughs> that was that was a Faith No More song, a little '90s trivia. Nice. Um, anyway, so yeah, Fat Sal's, right? Uh huh. Um, do you guys have Fat Burger? I don't recall that okay. that uh, type of franchise. All right. Well, there's Fat Burger. That's the name, and they're they're like all burgers, you know, and they're re they're really good, and they they are like huge burgers. Like they'll put nice. in, they'll put an egg on it. You know what I mean? Bacon. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's not this place, dude. This place, bro, is like... Alright, let me give you an example. They have, like, burgers that have, uh, like, chicken tenders on it, bacon, sauce, right? Or they have, like, they have one burger type thing that's, like, instead of, like, cheese, they've got mozzarella sticks on the burger. Damn! Like, everything is, like, just absolutely obscenely bad for you, like thousands and thousands of calories like I'm getting hungry <laughs> but you know what I mean like it's like you know who combines chicken strips a burger cheese all right I'm done with these people agreed yeah let's get out of here main menu that is you know like for someone to combine all that into a you know into a burger it's it's like taking your burger to a buffet and they say, here, put as much shit as you want on this burger and make it epic. Right. I see. No what you're pun saying. intended. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, but this place is like, it's almost like they want to be, take it the, to the next level, you know? You want to get a competitive? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, why not? Here, so let's see. We're in this. I'm in the silver division. What are you in? I'm in the silver division as well. Okay. So our goal is just get further than the silver edition. 
That's yeah, oh yeah. That's always been my goal to at least get into gold. At least we're not in copper. Oh man, I remember that. Or nickel. Oh god. Wait a minute. There was. There's no nickel. I, I mean, there's I bronze. Know, what I am know. I talking there's about? No nickel. You there's, got me they, there. They have Dogecoin. Oh my god, no. Yes, dude. Dogecoin to the moon, bro. It's happening. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh yeah. I heard about that. It's like, wow, they're taking this uh, coin really that far, huh? Yeah, they <laughs> are, and I, I'm with them. I got a small holding. I wish I would have gotten in it, dude, when it was, like, less than a penny. You know what I mean? Like, you, if you... I would cash out by now. You'd literally just actually be rich right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that was, like, January or something. I mean, like, I just hadn't heard of it or I would have done it, but oh well. Still amazing. I mean, they I got a, it's just an amazing community on Reddit that I'm a part of. You know, it's like just all memes about Dogecoin, but it's really funny and, and cool. Mm -hmm. I just feel like you should. I mean, if I, you know, if I invested, you know, at the beginning and then uh, to the amount of money that it just, it, you know, it's generating right now. Yeah. I would quit while I still ahead because otherwise, if you're staying in it for a little longer, then expect a big disappointment. Yeah, I mean, it's gambling, you know, but I mean, like, if you would have put, like, a hundred bucks, say, that you could afford to lose, I should say, you know? Like, let me just, uh, let me look it up, let me look it up here, I want to see. A hundred dollars is pretty big. I put a hundred in Doge. Okay, all right, we got to play first, but, okay, yeah, a hundred bucks, all right, let's say, yeah, let's say a hundred, though, Okay. Let's say you got your stimulus check, and you were like, hmm, this looks interesting, and at, and, and at the beginning of the year, you put 100 in it, and I'm going to look up how much it's worth now, just to, just to, as an exper, you know, just to show you. It's pretty, pretty wild, dude. Kind of like that game, just... game stonk uh, situation, you know? <laughs> oh, God. But it's true. I, you know, GameStop was undervalued, I think. Mm-hmm. We love GameStop. We don't want it to go away. It's one of the last places you could physically go to. Like, we already lost Blockbuster. Yep. And, you know, I, you don't know what you got till it's gone. But it used to be fun to go to Blockbuster and, like, you know, make a movie night out of it and pick out movies. And, like, and I remember telling my friend, though, right, th uh, at this point they didn't have all the streaming stuff. And I remember just going, you know, one day it's going to be you could just watch whatever you want from your house. You don't have to go anywhere. And I could, uh, they were like, no, what? I don't think so. But of course it happened. And Blockbuster didn't move fast enough, so they just got left in the dust, you know? But mm -hmm. I, m I missed that um, ritual, you know? Going there, and you want to get the hottest movie, and they're always out of it. You know what I mean? Remember that? Right. Like, that you'd always oh. look, and they're like, no copies left. So then you had to pick something else, and that's when it got interesting. You know, you might see something that you'd never would have tried, or... Okay, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, Come man, on. How did he mess that up? <laughs> oh, I messed it up. They they came in and messed it up. Yeah, I know. I messed it up, too. I mean, I had you set up, though. Yeah. All right, this is probably going to be my last game, because I do have to go somewhere. So maybe if you want to set after this, set up, and I'll raid Good you. Good idea. Yeah, because, uh, hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, chat. Uh, Edge is going to be streaming going forward. Uh, what are you streaming tonight? Mega Man 4. Mega Man 4. For DS. Did you beat yeah, 3? Yeah, for DS Dash. I know you beat Yes, two. I did. Okay, so you yeah, beat, beat three, 3 on stream. Yep. And now you're on 4. Of course, there's 11 yeah. of them, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not playing up to 11. I think I'm playing yeah. up to 10. And then I'm going to switch. Then I'm going to go into, like, Mega Man X2. The, uh, Mega Man X series. Yeah, X. X2. Yep. I told you, man. I used to love... um. Mega Man Battle uh, Network series. Oh man! On uh, it was on DS, and I don't know if they even made a 3DS. Man, I love that. It was because you know why I loved it. The story was great. Mhm. Mm Characters were great. The story was great. I mean, they have it on. Uh, let's see. You said Mega Man X no. 3DS. You no, mean? No. I'm sorry. Mega Man Battle Network. Battle Network. Oh, I see. I think. Woo! They might have. That's pretty damn good. They might have a collection for it. 
me? No, they don't. Believe me, I would I would have been aware of it. Oh, okay. okay, because I mean they they already have the uh, Mega Man Zero X collection already, which those games were on on Game Boy, and it's already uh, like available for Xbox One and PlayStation, and maybe Nintendo Switch. Interesting. So like that's. So that's why I figured that uh, it might be on that type of collection right there. Oh, nice work, buddy. Yeah, maybe. They just announced, I think, Sonic and Knuckles is going to come out. I don't think it was available yet anywhere. For? For, well, it might be Switch, I don't know, or it might be Xbox, too. I'm not sure. Oh. But, yeah, anyway, Battle Network was freaking awesome. That's kind of more underground, I think. People think thought it was kind of for kids, you know? Right. And it was like turn-based RPG, but kind of like with like card elements, sort of like Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. Is it Yu-Gi-Oh or Yu-Gi-Oh? I never really... I thought it was Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, maybe. I played some of those too. Uh, just not the card game, the video game, but the production value sucked, but it was still fun. I was playing all that stuff while I was exercising when I lost 80 pounds. That's how I did it. <laughs> All right, so you're going to be on with Mega Man 4, continuing your playthrough. This is my last game. I wonder if there's any chance that we could win it. I'm trying to. Oh, really Mega are. Man! Oh, yes, dude. Yes. I. Uh, this is the way. Man, one more goal, and in, in it's in 12 seconds. Holy shit, man! I don't know <laughs> about this. Here we go. If you can tie it up, that'll be great, but I highly doubt that now. Ten seconds, shit, shit, and more shit. That's not happening. Oh, nope. Nope, ain't happening. Definitely not, since we're all way this far. Nope. All it was right. a good valiant effort, though. We tried. Let's see here. I want to tell you how much you'd have uh, right now. All right, let's see. All right, let me put this. If you invested a hundred, if you got a hundred bucks worth of that Dogecoin, right? Mm -hmm. Five years ago, look, uh, you'd have two hundred thirty-seven thousand eight hundred eighty-five dollars. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Wah wah. But who would have thought? Anyway, I got some of it. Just better late <laughs> than never. All right, man. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna show a video while. You get ready to go, and then we'll transition over to you. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Here we go, guys. All righty. And I got the assist. Oh, damn. That's right. <laughs> I haven't even played Fortnite in a week and a half. I Somebody has to clip that. What's I said he's breaking the floor. You pull your shotgun. You both pull your shotgun out at the same time with the same skin. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Oh man, <laughs> and he saw me just yeah, like miss yeah. a jump. <laughs> he just he just missed the most basic jump you could possibly make. That's going in. That face. I don't need it. Let's go. <laughs> I got a lot. Oh my god! Oh god! Oh, clip it! Dude, <laughs> that, that guy got brutalized. Hey, clip it good. Brutalized. <laughs> like that. Oh my god, Chris Smooth. <laughs> That's funny. Splash. Oh, Chase, you look like a, like one of those, like, oh, he's tribal... He's pushing, he's pushing! Chase, you look like a tribal Chase, villager. You. With the, uh, the job bad, bad, rev me, rev me. Hi. That was a propane Man. tank, man. It looked like shit was gonna light that guy on fire. There it is. Here. Check it out. <laughs> Fine. Oh. Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to raid Edge right now. Thanks for being a part of tonight's show. Edge is going to be playing the exceedingly difficult Mega Man 4. Mega Man. Love you guys. I'll see you soon. And here we go. Thanks, Paul. You got it, dude. Thank you, bro. Good times. Wait. Let me just hear. There we go. All right. Time to raid. switch. This is brought to you by Mexican Code. Oh. I like to call it the water pickaxe because I don't know what it is. It's a dentist. Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always reminds me. Oh. I like to call it the water pickaxe because I don't know what it is. 
is a dentist. Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I didn't. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. I'm a Gucci boy. You're here to remind me, and you set me free. Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock me away. You know you remind me. You know you remind me. You love the whispers. God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. I'm a good boy. You're here to remind me. And you set me free. Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away. You know you remind me. You know you remind me. You love the whispers. God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. I'm a good boy. You're here to remind me. And you set me free. Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock me away. You know you remind me. You know you remind me. You love the whispers.
This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. Is a dentist. <laughs> Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always finds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. Yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In LA. I'm You're here to remind me. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. 
LlamaSquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible. You're here to hear my name. And you set me free. Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark. But you lock away. You know you remind me. You know you remind me. Your love always finds me. I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible. You're here to remind me, and you set me free. I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm
This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. Is a dentist. <laughs> Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In the I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always reminds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible. You're here to remind me. And you set me free. Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark. But you lock away. You know you remind me. You know you remind me. Your love always reminds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. Swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun. And it is Saturday night. 
LlamaSquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. And I love you. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always finds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Code. God, I did. Oh, oh, yo, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. And I love you. I'm God, I did. Oh, oh, yo, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. And I love you. I'm a you're here to remind me.
switch. This is brought to you by Mexican Code. Is a dentist. <laughs> Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always finds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Code. God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm a Yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh, 
Yo, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always finds me. God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm a God, I did. Oh, oh, yo, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm a
my Mexican coat. It's a dentist. <laughs> Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In a little. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, you love who is friends me. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. Is a dentist. <laughs> Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In a little. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always reminds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. Is a dentist. <laughs> Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. 
LlamaSquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible. You're here to remind me. And you set me free. Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark. But you lock away. You know you remind me. You know you remind me. Your love always reminds me. I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm a I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible. You're here to remind me. And you set me free. Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark. But you lock away. You know you remind me. You know you remind me. Your love always reminds me.
controller and the switch. This is brought to you by Mexican Code. It's a dentist. <laughs> Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In the I'm a Georgia boy, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always finds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Code. God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In the lane. I'm a Georgia boy. You're here to remind me. And you set me free. Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away. You know you remind me. You know you remind me. Your love always finds me. Yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh, 
Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. And I love you. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always reminds me. I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. And I love you. I'm I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm a
Forces brought to you by Mexican Code. Is a dentist. <laughs> Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always reminds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Code. Yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In LA. I'm You're here to remind me. And you set me free. Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun. And it is Saturday night. 
LlamaSquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible. You're here to remind me. And you set me free. Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark. But you lock away. You know you remind me. You know you remind me. Your love always finds me. God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm a God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm a
controller and the switch. This is brought to you by Mexican Code. It's a dentist. <laughs> Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I didn't. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In a little... I'm a Georgia boy, you're here to hear my name, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, you love who is friends me. This is brought to you by Mexican Code. Yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In LA. I'm a Georgia bull. You're here to remind me. And you set me free. Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark. But you lock away. You know you remind me. You know you remind me. Your love always reminds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Code. Yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. 
Yo, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always reminds me. I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible. You're here to remind me, and you set me free. I did. Oh, oh, yo, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm
brought to you by Mexican Coke. Is a dentist. <laughs> Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In the I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always finds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In the I'm incorrigible. You're here to remind me. And you set me free. Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark. But you lock away. You know you remind me. You know you remind me. Your love always finds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. 
LlamaSquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always reminds me. God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm a
color in the switch. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. It's a dentist. <laughs> Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always finds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm a Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh, 
Yo, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always reminds me. God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm a God, I did. Oh, oh, yo, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm a
brought to you by Mexican Coke. Is a dentist. Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind my name, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, you love the wish for me. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm a This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. 
LlamaSquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm incorrigible. You're here to remind my name. And you set me free. Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark. But you lock away. You know you remind me. You know you remind me. Your love always finds me. I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm You're here to remind me, and you set me free. I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm
switch. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. Is a dentist. <laughs> Burgers, yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh. Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're going to have some fun, and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're going to go if you fight. In the I'm incorrigible, you're here to remind me, and you set me free, please don't go, I'm afraid of the dark, but you lock away, you know you remind me, you know you remind me, your love always finds me. This is brought to you by Mexican Coke. God, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. When I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, because we're gonna have some fun. And it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. In LA. I'm Yeah. I swear to God, I did. Oh, oh, 
Yeah, when I go off on the mic, this is what I always do. That's right, cause we're gonna have some fun and it is Saturday night. Llamasquad.com is where you're gonna go if you fight. I'm incorrigible. You're here to rim.